Howdy, how's it going? My name's Davy Chappie, and fun fact, people are always asking me if I watch anime, which surprises me because I, in fact, do not watch anime, unless my friends happen to have it on while I'm by. But when I was younger, I did give it a fair shot, and I watched as many mainstream wheat toast anime as I could, with my favorites being Death Note, Orin High School Host Club, and Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. The last one is notable because, as I was making this guide, I kept coming back to the magic system from that anime and how similar it is to a lot of spells in the Transmutation School, and then it made me realize that this school would also fit Avatar and it dawned on me. Transmutation is the school of magic dedicated to weebcraft. So in this video, I'm gonna go over every weebcraft spell, and I'm gonna try to do it without being too focused on equivalent exchange. As always, keep in mind that a lot of this is just my opinion, so if you feel like attempting human transmutation to summon back the spirit of your dead mother, well, I can't stop you, but do it at your own risk. But with that out of the way, let's jump right into the weeaboo fighting magic, starting with CANTRIPS! Control Flames. You get to mess around with fire, which can actually be really useful for mages that need a little bit more sight in the dark. Druidcraft. Your go-to druidic power. Any druid that wants to be a druid takes druidcraft. It's just what they do. Gus. You get to mess around with wind. Fun at parties. Magic Stone. This spell is hilarious and gives you an almost limitless supply of ranged attacks, so long as you keep a bunch of rocks in your pocket. Mending. You have absolutely no idea how useful this spell is until you need it, but you don't have it. Fixing things is always amazing. Message. This is not a transmutation spell. Sort of useful, but it defeats the point of a secret message when you have to point at whoever you're talking to. Mold Earth. You get to mess around with Earth. Nothing bad here. Just just your average earthbending powers. Prestidigitation, your go-to arcane magic power. Arcane magicians tend to take this because it lets you do all that weird stuff that Gandalf does. Primal Savagery, Carnivorous Druid, more powerful than a shillelagh once you hit level 5, and druids don't normally mind being in melee anyway. Shape Water, you get to mess around with water. Never before has it been so exciting to get wet. Shillelagh, now if you plan on not using offensive cantrips very often once you've picked up a spell or two, shillelagh does do more damage on average than Primal Savagery at early levels, just don't expect it to help you late game. Thaumaturgy, your go-to holy power. Using any of these powers will turn you into one scary mother Fucker. Thorn Whip. The damage isn't great, but being able to pull people close to you is a fun time. First level! Catapult. Does good damage, and the creativity of being able to launch almost whatever you want is a gateway to clever thinking. Create and destroy water. Does exactly what it says on the tin. Expeditious Retreat. You know, it says retreat, but really you can use this to go fast any way you want. Feather Fall. You never know you need this until you really need this. Good Berry. Most campaigns don't care about eating every day. This spell helps you with the campaigns that do. Plus, it can give a flat 10 HP, which people don't realize is almost always better than cure wounds. Granted, you can only eat one berry at a time, so so don't expect this to help you during a fight. Jump! Some spells let you bend the fabric of the universe to your will. This spell lets you jump higher. Long Strider. It's okay, but Expeditious Retreat is usually better. I've not really ever seen Long Strider be a big help in practical use. Purify Food and Drink. How often do you normally get your food poisoned? Okay, well how often do you, on the off chance that your food is poisoned, think to cast a spell to purify it? That's why this spell isn't worth it. Zephyr Strike. Super Wind Powers! Really fun spell, I just wish that it wasn't ranger exclusive. Second level! Alter Self. Useful for any occasion, any any one of these could be a good spell, but all three in one is just candy. Bark Skin, the druidic version of Mage Armor. The only downside is that it requires concentration, unlike Mage Armor, which is stupid. Cordon of Arrows, a fun trap for when you know enemies are coming. Rangers get a lot of cool spells, if only they could use them more often. Dark Vision, if you don't already have Dark Vision, you want Dark Vision. Dragon's Breath, really awesome, especially since it can cast as a bonus action. The damage is a little eh, but since you can use it constantly, you pretty much have the continuous burning hands. Earthbind, it's a ranged grapple. Really, it's more useful for stopping things from getting away than anything since the target is still able to do anything but move. If you want something else, take Earth and Grass. Enhance Ability. It's great for when you need somebody to be really good at any one thing at a given time. Enlarge, Reduce. It sounds good, but I've found that 1d4 extra damage isn't usually worth giving all the bad guys more room to stab you. Still good for the meme, though. Heat Metal. Free damage as a bonus action, and you can impose disadvantage on any sad boy who thought that armor would save them. Knock. Not the most stealthy spell in the world, but it unlocks things without you needing a key or a rogue, which is really underappreciated. Levitate. Woo, spook. Key. Remember though, that levitation isn't flying, so you're sort of just floating there like a dingus unless you can find some way to pull yourself around. Magic Weapon. It's sort of useful, but not really. Sure, the bonus to hit is fine, but it's not that big of a deal, and the added damage is completely negligible. Unless you need a specifically magic weapon for something, just cast a different spell. Maximilian's Earthing Grasp. Amazing for knocking down one enemy that you just don't want to deal with. Pyrotechnics. It's sort of useful, but not flexible enough for me to ever really need it. Rope Trick. As a DM, I hate this trick. Skyrite. It's useless! Still really fun to use anyway. Spider Climb. You never know when you need to walk up a cliff. Spike Growth. Difficult terrain and damage just for tap dancing across it. Very good at dying area. Third level! Blink. Unreliable, but being able to blink in and out of existence during a battle makes you very, very hard to target. Elemental Weapon. It's a little bit better than Magic Weapon, but I don't think that it's worth the third level spell slot. Erupting Earth. Instant damage, but otherwise it's about as useful as Spike Growth, which is only a second level spell. Flame Arrows. A bit of added damage, but it's gonna be hard to pick this over other concentration spells. Fly. Whee! Please don't hit me! Gaseous form. You can slip through small cracks. 
That is about as much as you're gonna get out of the spell. Haste. It's amazing! Cast this on anybody and watch them rip like a Beyblade. Lightning arrow. 68 on the main target and 2d8 on everyone around them? Zeus approves. Meld into stone. A good getaway and a much more useful way to move through walls. Plant growth. It's a weird spell, useful outside to a great degree and having a lot of roleplay potential with the 8 hour version. Slow. It's also amazing! It's the exact opposite of haste, so all the awesome of that spell gets turned into anti awesome for the enemy. Speak with plants. What does the fern say? Tiny servant. You can recreate beauty in the beast. Other than that, you've got a whole lot of other spells that do the same job and don't cost a third level spell slot. Water breathing. Useful in water, not useful anywhere else. Water walk. Useful in water, not useful anywhere else. Fourth level! Control water. Useful near water. And holy hell, are you able to do a whole lot of things with that water. Elemental bane. Sort of useful if you have an elemental weapon, but it costs an action to potentially cast it on someone in the first place, and you have to keep concentrating on it to make it work, so... Fabricate. It's a fourth level spell slot to make something really quickly, and you can't make weapons or armor without the proper tools anyway, so I'm wondering why it would really be necessary to take this over other spells. Giant insect. What the fuck is that thing? Why is there- there's a spell for this? Who the fuck made a spell for this? Take my three and go away. Guardian of nature. Tree powers? Activate! Polymorph. One of the classic best spells in the game. Everybody loves polymorph. Stone shape. I mean, it's sort of useful, but it doesn't really do anything that other spells can't do for less. Fifth level! Animate objects. It's never a good thing when the wizard raises their hands and all the silverware attacks. Awaken. Fun spell. Not super useful at first, but awaken things make the best spies. Control wins. It has a few different uses, but none of them are particularly powerful, especially for a fifth level spell slot. Pass wall. Doors are useful to get both you and all your friends through a wall. Reincarnate. I love this spell. I wish that this spell were used more often because rolling to see what they'll be revived as is the coolest. Skill empowerment. Eh, I can't see myself ever really needing to use this. Swift Quiver. Suddenly, you can rapid-fire arrows like no man's business. Too bad the ranger is always competing for concentration spells. Telekinesis. Do or do not. There is no try. Transmute Rock. Very useful and hard to deal with. I bet you didn't know that there was a spell dedicated specifically to turning a stone roof into mud. Six level! Bones of the Earth. Visually impressive, but the spell honestly doesn't have much in the way of usefulness outdoors, although it does do okay damage indoors and it restrains people. Create Homunculus. Has Full Metal Alchemist taught us nothing? I'm actually baffled as to how this is a six level spell. Sure, it can be used for basic reconnaissance, but then so can Find Familiar and other spells on this list. Disintegrate. This is a scary spell. No way around it. Use it on your worst enemies only. Flesh to stone. Even if it doesn't work in the end, it still takes an enemy out of the fight for at least three turns. And if that does work, congrats, you have a new art project. Investiture of flame. Fire's cool. Investiture of ice. Ice is cool. Investiture of stone. Stone's cool. Investiture of wind. Wind's cool. Move Earth. You can restructure the terrain, which has all the advantages that your mind can come up with. Tensors. Transformation. You become a melee fighter, which would be cool if you weren't already an extremely powerful wizard. If you're a blade singer, you're absolutely impossible to deal with, and if you're anything else, well, who cares about being a fighter? Windwalk. I'm sorry, you have a flying speed of what? And a duration of what? I hope you like getting wherever you want really quickly. Seventh level! Etherealness. Oh, I'm about to lose this fight. Oh, well, goodbye. Regenerate. Useful if you need to restore a lost limb. Otherwise, there are other healing spells. Reverse gravity. Here we ask the age-old toddler question. What if up was down? Sequester. I'm unsure why this is a transmutation spell. Very roleplay heavy, but also very expensive. Eighth level! Animal shapes. You can refresh everyone's HP each turn. That's stupid. Control weather. Not particularly useful, but you can make people think that you're a god, so... Glibness. No bard would be caught dead using the spell when the sheer power of their own natural charisma should suffice. Ninth level! Mass polymorph. It's like polymorph, but mass. Shape change. Transform yourself into a thing. Time stop. Three free turns is amazing. True polymorph. Transform other things into a thing. But that'll about do it. I hope you enjoyed the final School of Magic guide on this channel. Honestly, the reason why it took so long was because partway through these guides, I realized that I wasn't actually helping people by going over the spells by school. What I'm planning on doing next is going over the spells by class, so you actually have something for when you're looking at a specific class. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, blah 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 blah. But yeah, Debbie out.